of this month, February, certainly an important one, American Heart Month. And the American Heart Association celebrating its 100th birthday, doing great work, getting the word out. As they pass the century milestone, they're urging every family to join the nation of lifesavers by learning CPR. So joining us here this morning, we have Dr. Alexandra Karazi from Sharp Grossmont Hospital, Burr Heart and Vascular Center. We also have Tuli Moran here with the American Heart Association. Thank you so much, both of you, for joining us. Uh, so I want to talk to you both uh, the importance of hands-on CPR. Who would like to address that? Well, I know that we have 350,000 people that experience a cardiac arrest event outside of a hospital every mm -hmm. year. And if you know hands-on CPR, almost anyone can learn it and learn how to do it properly and correctly. 23,000 of those are actually our children that experience oh, wow. cardiac arrest. So hands-on CPR is a life-saving skill that we all need to learn. And tell us, it's not that difficult, right? I mean, for most people, you take a class, you get certified, correct? How does the process work? How do we do it the right way? Yeah, and with hands-only mm -hmm. CPR, you don't even have to go through an actual certification process. Okay. It is a very quick, easy skill to learn. Someone as young as nine years old can mm -hmm. learn it. And we have many instances where a child has been the one that's been the voice of reason and been able to save a life. Somebody that gets CPR, especially immediately, mm -hmm. is two or three times likely to survive wow. the event. Okay, so let's bring in our heart surgeon to this conversation. Tell us, you work with patients who've had severe cardiac issues. Um, what are, how big of a deal is being able to get that CPR quickly? So the cardiac arrests can are very, very sudden. They can turn an ordinary day into a nightmare and survival with cardiac arrest actually drops 10% every minute. So the first four minutes is really crucial. So being able to know what to do and to start CPR right away can save a life. Okay, and so, I mean, like you were saying, anyone can really learn this. Um, is it fairly easy in your opinion to you know, know the steps? I think the key is more than just acquiring the skill. I think it's straightforward. But the key is learning that skill beforehand because we tend to have a fight or flight response right. right in that moment. And so it's more about learning what I call mindset coordinates and that's being able to get tap into that mental toolkit and be able right. to initiate those steps under stress in a life or death situation. Okay, where it just becomes natural mm -hmm. where you jump in to help out. Uh, let's talk about cardiovascular disease, the leading cause of death in women, claiming more lives than all cancers combined. Why is this happening? So it's a scary statistic. The number one killer of women is cardiovascular disease killing one in three women annually. Wow. And despite that, the CDC statistics are very alarming because only 45% of women are aware that it's our number one killer. Hmm. So knowledge is a big part of that. So it's being aware of our symptoms that, that this is such a prevalent problem in the United States. Okay. Uh, what is the American Heart Association doing to get the word out? I know you uh, constantly spread this message as much as you can, right? Absolutely. Yeah. We actually have a community event on February 14th okay. at One Paseo. Valentine's um, Day. Valentine's Day. Easy day to remember. Yep. One o'clock in the, the big lawn behind nice. Harlan Brewing at One Paseo okay. with Sharp Healthcare. So we'd love to have the public come out and learn hands only CPR. Okay. Oh, so you can learn hands only CPR right then and there. Right then and there. Perfect. That's a very helpful uh, uh, event. Obviously, we want people to come out, take care of their heart on Valentine's Day. Absolutely. Okay. We do have a um, webinar tonight, too, nice. that everybody can join at 6 p.m. on maternal health and we do think that that is another very important thing that cardiovascular disease it's and the number one killer of maternal situations mm. like that too. Okay um, and your mission uh, right, what is it now I mean as we kind of get the word out more and more uh, what do you hope happens what's the ultimate goal here from the American Heart Association? We want every family to know the symptoms we mm -hmm. want you to know your numbers and we want everybody to get out and learn hands-only CPR this year. Okay make that your goal for the year for this month it's the month of february of course heart month. a heart month important to learn these tools as we know it can save lives all right thank you both for joining us this morning uh, anything else you wanted to mention while we have a few more seconds here you can go to sharp.com uh, slash heart to learn more okay perfect thank you very much we'll be right back with a check of your headlines and your forecast as we're still dealing with the rain here we'll be right back after this quick break